Hey, what's up, coffee adventurers? How's it going? Uh, my name's Anthony Harding. I'm the traveling coffee guy. And uh, it just dawned on me that I haven't made a video to tell you all exactly who I am and why you should be following me and listening to what I have to say. Um, so this video, I'm going to tell you about, about who I am and what I can do to make your journey in coffee even better. Well, welcome back everybody. Uh, again, my name is Anthony Harding. I'm the traveling coffee guy. Back in 2014, I was in a college class that ended up taking me over to Vietnam and China. And while I was in Vietnam, I was in a coffee shop and somebody put a cup of what is called Kopi Luwak, which is the most uh, expensive coffee in the world, in front of my face and I absolutely fell in love with it. Now. Kopi Luwak may or may not sound familiar to you. Uh, a lot of people call it cat poop coffee or weasel poop coffee or monkey poop coffee. Uh, it was it was uh, one of the things on Jack Nicholson's bucket list uh, in the movie Bucket List. Uh, uh, he wanted to drink the most expensive coffee in the world, and that's what that was. Uh, I had the opportunity to try it, and... Yeah, I know you're thinking, well, that's pretty disgusting. It's you actually drank some poop. Well, I gotta say, you know, kind of in a way, I agree with you. That is kind of a disgusting thought. Uh, but I was on an adventure. It was really the first time out of the country that I've ever I've ever gone out of the United States. So I was in adventure mode, and I tried it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I gotta tell you, it was like the best coffee I've ever had in my life. Oh, it was so good. So, uh, a little bit after that, I decided to start researching uh, Kopi Luwak and Weasel Coffee and all those kind of the different angles of what they what they do with it. And then I found out how terribly the farmers who are producing it treat their treat these poor animals. So I decided, you know, I've got to do something about this. This is absolutely terrible what they're doing. Uh, they keep these animals and uh, they're about the size of a house cat. It's a it's the Southeast Asian palm civet. Uh, they're just really cuddly, cute little creatures, and they just keep them in, in the cages. It's about four foot by four foot by eight foot, and there's just a single animal per cage. And all they do is basically force feed them coffee cherries their entire life, and it's. It's just a terrible existence, and it doesn't have to be that way, because they eat coffee in the wild, so, I mean, there's just way better ways of producing this than having to, to make these poor animals live like that. Um, so, after I figured all of that kind of stuff out, I was like, oh man, what am I going to do? So, then after that, I went and I decided, uh, I know I'm going to figure out the coffee industry and I'm going to get into the coffee industry and hopefully I can get to a point where I can start making a profit and uh, put together a not-profit organization where the money that is raised can go to help these farmers turn their, uh, turn their farms into sanctuaries for these animals uh, so the animals can produce this stuff without being treated just absolutely terribly because you know like I said there there's a way better way to do things and it's just gonna cost some money to, to help these farmers switch over in a perfect world they would just quit producing it but for a thousand dollars a kilogram in Vietnam that's just not gonna happen. It's a sad reality, but that's the way it is. So that's that's what got me into the into the coffee industry. So I went 
after that for the next three years was I was learning the coffee industry. I traveled around the world. Let's see, where where all did I go? I went to Vietnam, China, Thailand, Cambodia, um, Amsterdam, Rome, Athens, Egypt, Hawaii. Um, I went up to Vancouver, BC. Of course, I've spent a ton of time in Seattle and down in Portland in these little coffee meccas and uh i've been all over the place i've been i've stepped foot on probably 50 60 different coffee farms um and i've i've learned a lot of about the industry itself i've picked coffee i've helped to process it i've seen how it goes everywhere from from seed all the way to cup, many different uh, ways of making the coffee that, that most people have never even thought about here in the United States. Uh, some of these some of these things that, that I'm talking about are some of the best ways to consume your coffee, and uh, these are these are amazing things that that uh, that I've learned in my travels. I've made some awesome, awesome connections and some great friends around the world. As my adventure took around when I was looking for the best coffee I could find, so I, I ended up coming back to Vietnam, and in Vietnam I found some absolutely fantastic uh, Highland Arabica uh, down in the Dalat region, uh, and it is just it is just something else. Uh, uh, I have had some better coffee. In fact, uh, I just recently picked up a, a couple pounds of some uh, green uh, coffee from Myanmar uh, from a friend of mine up in Seattle at Conduit Coffee, and uh, I just roasted it. And, and oh my god, this stuff is some tasty, tasty coffee. It kind of tastes like some amazing red wine. Uh, but oh wow, is it good! So in my travels, I uh, I went around the, the world uh, three times, and uh, I I just had some amazing adventures, and I actually uh, I wrote a book which is available on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the in the description below, or you can go pick it up. Uh, it tells about my plan to to help those animals and it tells about my adventures and in the end it's, there's got there's about 45 50 different recipes of uh, unique ways to make coffee a lot of them you've probably never even heard of but you want to try it trust me uh, but yeah I'll leave a link down in the description uh, but so that's pretty much my story um, of how I became the traveling coffee guy uh, I have my my company's name is Sassy's Exquisite. I'll leave a link down below where you can pick up the coffee if you want. And speaking of which, uh, right now uh, we are currently at about 30 subscribers, and I need to get up to 100 subscribers so I can get my uh, personalized YouTube URL, which will be Traveling Coffee Guy. Um, but as for right now, I. I I'm not allowed to have that so I am going to do a contest right now so when, once we get to 50 subscribers I am going to roast up and give away two bags of this uh, one bag to two different lucky subscribers of the of the travel and coffee guy channel uh, so help me out help uh, help me get more subscribers for the channel it'll be absolutely awesome uh, again this coffee is just something else it is phenomenal I spent three years looking for it and it is absolutely some of the best coffee I've ever had in my life um, and when I when I get to 50 subscribers uh, I am going to give away two bags of that absolutely free of charge kind of randomly amongst all of my subscribers but what I need you to do in order to uh, enter into the contest is I need you to uh, if you aren't already subscribed I need you to subscribe to the channel comment below in the comment section and then share this video 
with your friends uh, on Facebook, you're on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all, all of your social media. Just just help me get out there. Help me reach my my all you coffee lovers and coffee adventurers out there. In the future, I'm going to do videos that are going to be more travel based. Uh, here in April, I am actually going to Boston. Uh, we're going to have the SCA World Coffee Expo, the Specialty Coffee Association World Coffee Expo. I'm going to be there for three days, and that's actually the week of my birthday, so that's going to be a whole lot of fun. So I'm going to be around Boston checking out a lot of the cool stuff. I'll, make, I'll finally get to make a real travel video for a change. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, product reviews i'm gonna do some coffee reviews travel reviews and stuff like so I'll, I'll do stuff about i'll tell you about the hotels and hostels i stay in the airlines that i fly um some of the cool products that i use to make my life easier while i'm traveling it's gonna be great so like I said, uh, like this video, subscribe, share away, comment below. Please, if there's any questions in the coffee or the travel industries that you want answers to, please comment, ask below. It's going to help me a lot to, to, to make uh, more videos, really, so I can connect with you and add value to your life. So like I said, like, subscribe, share, leave some comments. Let's start a conversation, and hopefully you can win an awesome bag of coffee. Um, like I'll leave all the links and stuff below for my book and, and my coffee company, Sassy's Exquisite. And uh, as always, sip exquisitely. <laughs>